All right, the court takes notice I, that George Nicholson was served July 28, 2023, is not present, and the case is brought for default. Go and proceed, Ms. Correa. Yes, Your Honor. This is a case, just wanted to point out, where the mother will be the obligor. Yes. Um, yes. The father and the state have come up to an agreement for um, child support to be set at $150. Um, beginning September 1st, medical support to be set at $23 um, beginning September 1st, um, and government order, uh, government medical to be insurance to be carried. Um, the father is not seeking any retroactive um, child support. Um, I will now call the father. Sir, can you state your name for the record? Uh, Luis Felix Valdez. That is my and home. Sir, and sir, what is the name and age of the child or children in these case? In this case, uh, it's only my son, uh, Luis Felix Valdez Jr. And who does your son live with? Uh, he lives with well, he lives with me, but at my mom's house. Okay. Do you live with your mother as well? Yes. Okay. So you two live together with the child's grandma. Um, and sir. To your knowledge, what does the mother do for a living? I'm be honest with you, I really don't know. I don't know what she does. Uh, I don't even know her uh, her, her stability, so I, I really don't know. And ma'am, and sir, uh, you understand that we calculated child support and medical support based on the minimum wage presumption. Yes. And sir, how many other children does the mother have? Uh, four more. Uh, four girls. Okay. Um, and sir, to your knowledge, is she disabled or incarcerated? She's not disabled. Incarcerated, she was, but that was like about nine, ten years ago, somewhere around there, uh, kind of. But now I don't know where she's at, to be honest with you. Has there been any family violence between you and the a mother of the child? No. Okay. Is there any reason that your address should remain private? Um, what do you mean private? Um, is there any reason your address should remain private from the court order? As long as it's not put public, <laughs> I don't have a problem. The court so, having my address. So, sir, when these uh, this order is um, placed in the court record, um, it is available for someone to do a search for it. In some circumstances, sir, um, you can ask that ju the judge for that address to be redacted from the court order. That's what I was asking you. Oh, okay. Then yeah, redacted. Yeah. Okay. And what's, do you have a safety concern for it to be redacted? I mean, hell, I don't know. <laughs> Just for, I mean, I'm not paranoid or anything, but I mean, I, I don't want somebody, some psycho to just look, look, yeah, just see my address and say, oh, hey, that's, you know, I want to stalk you. <laughs> I, that's the main reason. Thank, thank you for that information. What conservatorship do you think is in the best interest of the child? What was that? Can you repeat the question? Are you requesting joint or sole managing conservatorship oh, today? So, uh, so, so. Um, and what is the reason that you don't want joint managing conservatorship? Uh, because I took her off the uh, uh, off the off the list at the school because I, like I told you earlier, I don't know her stability. Uh, and I, I kind of don't, I trust her, but I don't trust her all, like fully uh, mm -hmm. to where she can take them out of school and, you know, just disappear. Even though my son wouldn't let that happen, but still, I don't want her to get in trouble because of her instability. Okay. And when you say instability, can you tell the judge how is she unstable? I mean, she doesn't have a job. She's, I mean, she gets angry out of, out of a small joke that I told her. She takes it as a, as a insult to her. I mean, I really don't know how she's meant mentally. I don't know, honestly. Um, and sir, are you requesting the standard possession order for visitation? Yeah, just, like I said, she can come and visit. Not a problem. Not a problem any any time of the week you know um do you I, have any additional information you would like to add um i mean I, that's all that's 
all the information I can give you. Okay, I pass this witness. Okay, just a quick question. I think um, just to be sure, because um, on visitation, it would be visitation on standard visitation order with her being able to pick up the child on Friday night at six and have the child until Sunday at six that weekend, every other weekend. Is that okay with you, Ms. Valdez? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I wanted to make sure because you were saying some other things. Okay, all right, well, so we're doing a default said, judgment. Child, child support will be $150 a month. Medical support to be $23 a month. No back child support is being requested. No finding of family violence is requested. Uh, I'm appointing Mr. Valdez as the managed conservator, sole managing conservator. Uh, standard visitation, court costs as billed to the mother. The attorney general's office will draft an order email y'all a copy and then they'll work on trying to collect that money. You're done with court, Mr. Valdez. You can press leave on the Zoom to exit out. Thank you. All right, thank you.